Now we're going to do the candy haul. Woo! Candy haul! Basically, they have strawberry and chocolate, and then vanilla and strawberry. And the one we gave her vanilla had vanilla and chocolate. Yeah, vanilla and chocolate. And they have I uh, I like the ones that come like a little longer, and it has all three flavors on there. There's also one that has four. Has four? Oh, yeah, we didn't see it there at the flea market, but it has cajeta. Really? I've never seen those. That's really good. Oh. If you guys don't know what cajeta is, it's um, it's a. Uh, it's made with milk. It's milk. It's a. Uh, it's milk on them? No. It's milk. milk from, it's from evaporated milk. This is yeah. Dulce de leche. Also no, pero. Cajeta creo que sí está hecha de no. leche de chivo. What? It's goat's milk. Probably. probably Some right. of it, yeah. yeah. It's it's made differently everywhere. What I like that has cajeta son las obleas. Oh yeah. Those are really good. It has like, what would you call the little the cookie? The little cookie. It's it's like a like a little. It's thin. Flaky kind. You know what? It's like the thing they give you at church. church. Yeah. yeah, like the little thing they put. Yeah, bad things are big. Little circle colorful. thing. Yeah, except the yeah the ones. Yeah. No, but the ones that they use for the obleas, those are also white. Yeah, but mainly we, just use the white ones. Yeah, mainly, but a lot of people like to get the colorful ones. I love the little colorful ones. Those, I mean, those things don't even have flavor. But I don't know. I just like with, with that I milk candy. It. Yeah. You know, all, all you really taste is the the, the sweetness. The okay. sweetness, but it gives it like that texture. Can, can that way, taste. yeah, it gives it a nice texture with the cookie. Okay, and these the next ones that we're gonna show you guys. These are my favorite candy. The original ones are yeah. okay. First of all, I'm just gonna show you guys. It's pulparindos. The original ones are the yellow ones. And then these are, the red ones are the ones that are spicier. We didn't get any of those. And then they also have, we got two of the red ones and three of the mango. mango. So tamarind pulp. And I know they also have watermelon. Watermelon, the other ones, tamarind, tamarindo. The original. Oh, the yellow one? Yes, the yellow Entonces, one. Este, este es el that's, the, that's the marina, just spicy. Just spicy. Extra hot. I really like these. These are delicious. My the favorite. watermelon, I didn't really like. Oh, this is delicious. No. Like, it's, just, I, 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 it's sweeter. Like, really. It's just sweeter. The mango ones, I don't think I've tasted. <sighs> Should I taste them right now? I was missing now, not no yeah, more. Yeah, we're gonna taste it. Maybe I have, I'll get half. Uh -huh. Mmm. Anyway. This. 
If you guys love mango, way better than the watermelon ones. They like yes. Them. Also known as it, the India is the brand though. Yeah. India is the brand. These are really good. But he means the dedos, the fingers. They're spicy. They're sweet. They're yes. chewable. A These, little bit hard, but. They are delicious. I had never tasted these until I met him. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, the consistency of it is just... It's kind of hard. <laughs> oh, look at the powder though. You probably saw that. Hell yeah, I saw that oh, yeah. it showed in the camera. Mmm. Más cabrados los dientes. I really recommend good. it if you're having a cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> mm. I really recommend it. Even if you're not having kuruda. You can see it. <laughs> yeah. Have you had arrocaleta? <clears throat> Jawbreaker on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are delicious. Yes. Mm -hmm. They are delicious. It's a lollipop made of a bubble gum in the center and yeah. about three four layers of candy on the outside yeah i mainly like licking the Fire. first layer like the first layer because well, that's spicy that part is the one with, that has the the most flavor on the it. one that's like spicy so that i mean that's what i like about mexican candy we got two of them one for me one for her oh, hormigas they are a watermelon flavored candy. Yeah, these are actually hard, batter. hard candy. Well, they're not too hard. You can actually ah, chew on them. You can? Mm -hmm. You can chew on them? Yeah, like you can actually break them in the first bite. They're not that type of candy where you have to keep them sucking and sucking. They're uh -huh. really small. But it's a watermelon flavored. Ah, that's just like... <laughs> it's watermelon flavored candy uh, covered with chili. Aquí dice caramelo sabor sandía con fitadas con polvo agridulce y picosito. So watermelon flavored candies confitted with bittersweet and spicy powder. I guess we'll show you the next one. Um, I got limona, so I really wanted this. That's just a lot of lemon powder with yes. salt. Sour. This is good on your beer. Cuando te vas a pistear. <laughs> Make sure to carry one. Cuando te vas a pistear. Or. You know, and obviously you don't have lemon or any or anything like that or sal. This is good on it. This is delicious. Just put lemon on his arroz. On. My carne asadas, well, I my mean, carro, carne asada makes sense. My, my ensaladas, my maruchanes, when I make some. Well, yeah, those rare. other things make sense, but um, your okay. arroz, like. And my sopas. Who else puts. No, sopa de arroz. But, like, and also sopas. And arroz, because. I well, I sopa. mean, caldo <laughs> and. Pretty much, well, pretty much, I put lemon on everything. Not everything. On a cereal, también yo creo. No, I've been freaking <laughs> having diarrhea for the next three, four days. Come on. <laughs> Are you gonna put even on every day? No, it's just it's just on foods that I feel like I need to have lemon. Arroz doesn't need lemon though. I know, but like you know, I usually eat my arroz with something else on it. What if I have to put salsa that we made? Then yeah, you know. We should make a video where. Like things that we do, or do. like your cereal con tu molio. Oh. This virote. <laughs> See, my family is from Guanajuato. His family is from Michoacán. Michoacán. So we call bolillo different names. We call it bolillo, obviously. And they call it virote. virote. The first time I heard him say that, <laughs> you were like, "What the hell is that?" Um, we were. You were. Yeah, you were I, actually living at my house. I wasn't living with you yet. No, no. not living. Well, me, I was. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. You were uh, just at Vicity, Vicity yeah. for a while. But I uh, stayed there the weekend, I think. Yeah. Well, well, yeah and it was already, so we we were gonna go like eat close to like October, November. Yeah. When I was already getting cold. And usually when we feel like it's getting cold outside, we have that craving of some hot chocolate. Hola te bolita, si no no. Yes. Nothing pizza, but um coffee. Uh, I love no. it with coffee. Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 yay! Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. The first oh, time that I had time? heard him say it. She wants um Duelin. Or something. We had <laughs> I guess that we're gonna probably make um some kind of breakfast at Shamam's house. Just as just Yeah, she also yeah. oh, they make you like this at And she asked you to take the bolillos, mm -hmm. and she, like I could just hear him talking on the phone. And she, he was saying or asking her if he should take anything if they needed anything. And she said, "Yeah, te traes una bolsa." Oh no, she asked, she asked for like a certain amount. Yeah, she at the stores they usually say. Well, my mom says like in okay. Mexico they'll be like. Get I don't know, for amount. those of you guys who have been to Mexico, cuando va el tortillero, and you don't ask, oh, una libra de tortillas, you ask for like... Dollars amount. 20 pesos de tortillas, yeah. or like a certain amount of money, mm -hmm. like exactly that. Yeah, so at the store, the store that I went to, for That's them, how they did it's it. uh, for three virotes, it's a dollar. So I'm like, let me get... Five dollars, so that's like fifteen total. So she's usually like, "I'll oh, get three, four dollars." I'm like, uh, "We need more than that." Because mm -hmm. I have a big family, by yeah. the way. Seven. Huge. There's seven of you guys, yeah, right? Seven. Yeah. So I was, I was, I was like, "What is Vidote? And I didn't even ask him. I was like, "I'll just, you know, find out once we go to the store and I see." <laughs> I don't even know what I was picturing. I know I was picturing that you would probably come out with like, I don't know, some type of meat or fish or I don't know. Virote. Sounds like it's gonna be like. Oh, como luego dicen que el espinazo y quién sabe qué. Like that type. Yeah. That's why I pensé, okay, virote is probably like. Like what's virote? A part of one of the animals. That, that, I don't know. <laughs> and then. I see him come into the with the big ass bag con su bolsota de pan, <laughs> sus bolillos, and I was just like, "What the hell? <laughs> this is what they call virote." Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what you call virote. Next one is a fair Ooh. for all children of all children. Yes, the, las famosas cucharitas. Yes, they have, it's like a. They have a, a spicy, a sweet spicy flavor to them. Yeah, but not, like definitely not too spicy at no, all. No, you can't. It's mainly sweet. Like you can taste yeah. the spice, but it's mainly sweet. And it's a it's a favorite among ch children. Mm -hmm. Mexican children, because they're already used to. <laughs> okay, and now we got a, a quite a handful of these candies. Like these are. One of the ones that my mom loves, like she'll take it to work. They're and they're called, yeah, picahuamas. They're tamarind candy. They're basically like this, no más que hecha bolita. Yeah. But these are good. There's, a, they have mangoes. It has a little face on it. Yeah. Not on the actual candy, just on the wrapper. And it's by the brand Vero. Vero. Not my sister. <laughs> <laughs> it's all, it has always been one of my favorites as a child. It's called Carlos V. Quinto. Or, or Carlos Quinto. It's Carlos Quinto. It's not Carlos V. Well, yeah. Well, that's what it says in the rapper, but, you know, Carlos Quinto. Yeah, but the V is obviously a five. It's a Roman numeral. Yeah. So, we got a Lucas Bom Vaso. These are really good. That one's also like the Puparinos. It's also a uh, tamarind flavor. Tamarindo. Yeah. It's, but, it tastes similar to. 
We're gonna be saying that all of them taste the same. It, no, well, actually, it tastes more like this. Yeah, it tastes more like that. But this one, the consistency, it's more moist. It, <laughs> what? A lot of people don't like that. Well, and those come in different flavors as well. See that consistency? Es el ser chicle que está allá adentro. El famoso mazapán. Yeah. I really want to open it. A ver si se me quebra o no. I always, when I pick these out, I make sure that it's not already broken because algunos cracked. ya están cracked. partidos a la mitad. Or some of them are just have a slight crack and it's just not a touch or we'll break it out. Pero lo pegan bien. Por eso luego se quebran las chingaderas. <laughs> Miren, chingona <laughs> se quebró la chingadera. Mm -hmm. so, it's your turn to try to open it. Oh. I'm an expert. <laughs> I can't speak. I'm an expert. This one's already cracked though. Is it? Yes. This one's cracked already. You can see cracks on this. Mm-hmm. There's cracks. Quacks. Quack, 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 quack. There's a crack right there. Look, going like that and like that. Oh, yeah. But if I try picking it up. I mean, it's still not broken, though. It is broken. Is it? Yes. Watch. There. <laughs> you actually, see how easy it is for it to. It actually got it in four pieces. Just like a pizza. Uh -huh. Hopefully we can get more candy this weekend and or, and or we can subscribe to Mexico Crate. Mexi -crate. They have, I was checking it and the biggest box is like 14 something. Mm -hmm. I think the, the, the lowest is like $5. And it goes up there. But with um shipping and handling, it's already $20. It's like 20. But I mean, it's, it's yeah, a lot but of how candy. Much, how much did we spend on this? Uh, $11? $11? Yeah, $12? Yeah, $12? Yeah, it's a box about... Well, some of them are... Some people are already... Yeah, it's huge. It's has pretty a big, a bunch box. of candy, so... I mean, so, some, even for $20, it's yeah. still good. So, some, some boxes, I think it's the most expensive box you can get there. It comes with conchitas, too. The conchitas? Mm-hmm, with bread. Mm. Alright. See you guys. All right, thank you for watching. Hopefully you had a lot of fun watching it. I'm starting to be a little bit more okay with vlogging. She <laughs> is pretty people. nervous. Yeah. But I told her, hey, if you're, if you're really up for it, just open up. Yep. You've, you've been watching a lot of ah, vloggers. Ah, vamos, perras. Okay. <laughs> okay, not, not too open. Not too open, but. Así cuando vaya pasando, ábrase. Oh, like the, <laughs> the thing. <laughs> Soy un monumento. Oh, that girl. Ábranse, ábranse. Me voy a ir a las fotos. No, no, no. No, a ver. ¿Por qué niegas? ¿Por qué niegas? El dinero ni te lo voy a agarrar, la verdad. No, no, no. Ábrete, ábrete, ábrete. Quiero ver las fotos. Quiero. No se cayeron. I can hear that rain pouring outside. In the middle of May. It's literally 60 degrees. It was like 55 degrees okay. outside. Good job. Good job. Good job. La bruja está en la cueva. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to get notified. Subscribe! <laughs> Thanks for the love and support. Me dijo que me caía los hijos. Yes, because I'm talking. <laughs> All right, guys. This is See my you guys on the next video. Bye bye. bye. Say bye bye, Mama. Ching. <laughs> She's like, nope. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye, guys.